Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Cool Facts TV, where we bring you the most mind-blowing and bizarre facts about the natural world. And today, we're exploring the weird and sometimes shocking world of insect sex. Get ready for some freaky facts about bugs getting down and dirty. Honey bees are perhaps the most famous of the cock blockers. First, a young queen bee leads drones on a high-speed chase. Only the fastest get a chance to mate and die. In a mid-air mating, the male honey bee's penis explodes with ejaculation, and the eviscerated male falls from the sky to die alone in the shrubbery. Researchers were initially baffled by a second penis in some earwig species. It points the wrong way, and females only have one vaginal opening. Was it just an evolutionary leftover? No, the second penis is a spare in case the first one breaks off. Male beetles have been known to injure the female beetles who are unlucky enough to mate with them. The reason for this is, apparently, that the puncturing action allows for more sperm to travel up the female. The male sperm also affects the female's fertility, and the wounds allows those chemicals to directly interact with the female's bloodstream. Drosophila, the little flies of kitchens and biology labs, have remarkably odd sex lives. But even among those kinksters, one species stands out, Drosophila bifurca. The males in this species produce giant sperm that are 2.3 inches long, 5.8 centimeters. Each individual sperm cell is 20 times longer than the fly itself. Most people have heard of the horrifying sex lives of bed bugs. Males have a stabby cock dagger and inject their sperm through the body wall of a female. Worse, male bed bug peen is full of germs so this traumatic insemination can cause infections. But Strepsifterans have it worse! Stick insects are known for their incredible camouflage, but that's not all they're good at. Like all males in the animal kingdom, the stick insect wants to hold off sexual competitors for as long as possible. The solution to the problem is simply never to stop doing it. Admittedly, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but not much. The current stick insect record is 79 days. Male flies have to be ready to mate at any angle since the female can, you know, fly. It's a tough job, but luckily male flies can twist their gonads anywhere from 90 to 360 degrees. If humans tried to do that, we'd most likely rip our spines apart. There are many criteria certain insects use to choose their mates, including a nice wad of spit. When a male scorpion fly is trying to attract a female, he coughs up a secretion from his salivary glands that she can eat. While she's chowing down, the guy will do his thing until she gets bored and or full and decides to leave. The male will then gather whatever is left from his wad of spit and use it to attract the next female passing by. You've probably heard this one, since it's the most famous. When praying mantises mate, it can end with the larger female biting the head off the smaller male and then devouring his body for nutrients to help her with her pregnancy. However, it doesn't always end with an eaten face. Most of the time the male gets to fly off. Mayflies actually have lifespans up to several years, but once they reach adulthood, the clock is ticking. They only have three hours to live and an overwhelming need to reproduce. Given the time constraints, there's not much time for ceremony. Males go into a frenzy, going after females in swarms big enough to be seen on radar. If a female water striders refuses a male water striders advances, the male will hold the female under water and tap the water's surface causing ripples to attract predators. The female has to decide if she wants to be someone's lunch or give in and mate with the male. Males will only stop attracting predators to the female if she gives in. Apparently, they haven't heard the saying, no means no! 
Up to 27% of a male Mormon cricket's weight can be transferred during mating in a sperm package. That would be equivalent to 54 pounds of ejaculate from a 200-pound human male. Strepsipterans live in the butts of wasps. Males have just a few hours to find a female, and since she's embedded in the ass end of a wasp, he just injects his sperm pretty much anywhere he can reach. That's unpleasant, but once fertilized, the living female is consumed from the inside out by her developing young. This is also pretty much the plot of the movie Species 2, by the way. As a human, I can only say, well done, evolution. Well done! Thanks for joining us on another episode of Cool Facts TV. If you enjoyed learning about the strange and sometimes disturbing world of insect sex, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing facts. And don't forget to let us know in the comments what other weird and wacky topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one!